joined by Bruce Boudreaux. Bruce, you've coached superstars looking for revenge in the past. Connor McDavid has got to be a little extra riled up tonight. Yes, Susie got suspended. Zadorov got fined for the cross check at the end of game three. But we all expect McDavid to be a little extra fired up. How did you handle coaching star players on a night they had a little extra on the line? Well, you know what? Uh, you sort of let them run a little bit. Uh, uh, I would talk to them, make sure it's controlled emotion. I mean, I don't think you have to really worry about Connor too much. I think he'll be flying uh, as he was in game two in Vancouver, like when he knew the chips were down, the best players come to the fore. And I, you know what? I mean, revenge, the best way for him to get revenge is to go out and get two goals and two assists and say, see, just don't touch me anymore and we'll be fine. So I think, you know, like, I mean, you're going to see Connor's best game. He wants to win as much as anybody. So I expect, uh, I expect no physical revenge. I expect revenge on the score sheet for him. You mentioned game two, not a single shot in, on net in game one, though, and almost 30 minutes and not a single point in game three. Could this end up being one of those McDavid nights that could turn this series around? Well, I mean, you know, he's a game breaker, and he's, a, he's the, the big reason why uh, the superstars are a big reason in general why their teams uh, are where they are. And I, I got to believe that, I mean, it's not going to take 30 minutes of ice time for him I think if he stayed with 21, 22, he's going to get just as much accomplished. And, I mean, I don't think Edmonton has to, has to start thinking, we need a power play, we need a power play. Go beat them five on five, and things will open up for them. But, I mean, uh, uh, he's, he's going to be flying. He wants to be a winner. I think he remembers the words that Nathan McKinnon once said when they lost, I'm tired of losing. I think Connor McDavid is in the same boat. And, I mean, he started off this year – by having everybody there early for this for this sole reason is to get to get to the cup. This is a game that uh, is going to go a long way towards that. Listen, the Canucks better be prepared to see a steady dose of McDavid and Drysdale tonight. You mentioned their ice time; both played over 29 minutes last game. Yeah, I think that's too much. Like, I mean, and, and I'll tell you why I think it's too much. I think. Uh, the other players think, oh, you know, it's just about those two guys, and, and they don't think it's important. I, I remember a time, and it was no, no fault of Daryl Sittler's, but when you were the fourth-line guy when I was playing, I remember coming out one time and apologizing for having to take him off, but the coach wanted me on. You just don't feel uh, as important. I think they got to get back to when they were winning 16 games in a row. Their, their ice time, Connor was getting the most of it, but the other guys were a real big part of it. I think they got to get back to that. It's going to be interesting to see what the ice time looks like tonight and then what the result is as well. Thanks, Bruce.